Okay, let's do rapid review, microbiology rapid review one. First one to review is uh, gram, uh, gram positive organisms. So, we're going to do gram positive organisms. going to appear either purple or blue. Um, gram positive organisms can either be taxi which is round or bacilli which are rods cacti there are two organisms uh, one is staphylococcus aureus the other one is streptococcus uh, to differentiate between the two we need to see if they are uh, catalase positive which they appears in clusters or catalase negative which these organisms will appear in uh, chains which are uh, streptococcus staph aureus appears in clusters and uh, there are different types of staph aureus uh, staph staphylococcus um, to differentiate the staphylococcus, we need to see if they are coagulase positive or coagulase negative. Those coagulase positive are staph aureus. Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, so now we have the other staphs, staphylococcus, which are coagulase negative. So to differentiate between the other uh, staph, uh, staph uh, the other staphylococcus that are coagulase negative, we need to see if they are novel, biosins sensitive, or resistant. If they are sensitive, then that would be staph epidermidis. Epidermidis, whatever, epidermidis. So basically, this is how I memorize it. It's in the, on the skin, so it's very sensitive. So staphylococcus epidermidis, mainly on the skin, so it's sensitive to novel biases. So if it's novel biosins, resistance, then we know that it's going to be staph, saprophyticus, saprophyticus. So this is mainly because UTIs. So it's resistance to novel biosins. With the uh, coagulase, with the coagulase negative, we know that it's going to be uh, streptococcus. So uh, the different types of streptococcus to differentiate between among them are uh, to see if they are alpha hemolytic, which is partial hemolysis of the red blood cells, or if it's um, beta hemolysis. Or if it's gamma, beta is complete hemolysis, whereas gamma is no hemolysis at all. And for the uh, alpha hemo he, uh, hemolytic organisms, uh, to differentiate, there are, there are two that are important to know, which is um, the streptococcus uh, pneumonia and streptococcus viridans. Uh, so basically, to differentiate between the two, we need to see if they are aptogens, aptogens uh, sensitive, uh, and if they are uh, bio-soluble. If they are, then that would be streptococcus pneumonia. If they are not if they're resistant to aptogens uh, and uh, bioinsoluble, then that would be Streptococcus viridans.
and streptococcus pneumonia has been the important or the most common cause of uh, pneumonia in uh, adults, like 60 and above. Beta hemolysis. Beta hemolysis can either be um, group A streptococcus or uh, group B streptococcus. Uh, to differentiate between the two, we need to see if they're boxytracin sensitive or resistant. If they are sensitive, then that's group A. Group A, which is um, streptococcus pyogenes. And if they are resistance to vaccinations, that would be group B.